In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can generate a word cloud that will have much more information and be much more precise than any other word cloud generator out there. What you can see here is a visualization of Obama's 2008 speech and it shows not only the most relevant or frequently mentioned words but also how they were used in the same context together. The words that were used next to each other are shown next to each other on the graph and also have the same color. So you can quickly see what was the context. For instance, when Obama was talking about American, he was also talking about support, where he was talking about people, he was also talking about the nation. This is very different to a standard word cloud like you see here, where you just see the most frequently mentioned terms, but you don't really understand the relations between them. Here, you really can see the relations between those words which allows you to have a much better understanding of what the text is about. Not only that, you also have the analytics panel that shows you the main topics. If you click on each of them you can see what those words are and in which context they have been used. So it's a much more precise way to actually understand what the text is about. On top of that you can also select some of the terms that you find interesting. So for example, if I want to know what he was saying about unyielding democracy, I can click those those words and then see exactly in which context they were used. I can get to the part of the text that is relevant. I can also remove some of the words from the graph and then I will see what's hiding behind them. So this word cloud can also be used as an iterative tool to explore any text further. There are also many adjustments that you can make. So for instance, you can add uh, some lines to the word cloud to make it look pretty. You can also add the nodes as well. And this is what you like. See, then it's visualized as a network. Even remove some of the less relevant nodes. And you can also export this word cloud as a picture here as a PNG image or as a high resolution vector graphics if you want to insert it into a research paper or publish a big poster in high resolution. Let me show you how it works. So first you need to open Infranodus, go to the apps page, then choose the word cloud generator app and here you can just add your text, copy and paste the speech, visualize it here and then you might want to do some adjustments. So here I open the settings panel and choose to hide some of the labels so I don't see so much stuff. Adjust the layout. Okay, move some nodes around just so that they don't overlap. And here I have a nice visualization of the speech. I can also, of course, add some of the elements, you know, change the layout and so on. And as I mentioned already, if you want to remove some of the terms, you just select the ones that seem evident, click on them, and then Infranodus reveals what's hiding behind those terms. So this can also be very interesting if you want to analyze the text using uh, this word cloud. Another interesting use case is uh, with uh, the Google import app. So this app in Infranodus, it imports the existing discourse on any topic. In this case I'm going to make a search on artificial intelligence. When I click go what happens is that Infranodus imports the search results for this query from Google and shows me what is the existing discourse as a network graph. I can see the main topics, I can also get to the terms that I find interesting. Let's say I want to turn it into a word cloud, so then what I can do is to go into the settings panel here and then choose to show it as a word cloud. Then I say I want the label size to be the same as the node size, labels color to be the same as the nodes color, change the size a little bit, choose to show more or less labels and here I have a nice visualization that I can then use to export it as a picture or to actually explore this text. For instance, in this case I see that when we search for artificial intelligence we find a lot of results about machine learning, we find something about computer science and so on. Let's say I want to understand some less evident 
results. So I will remove the terms that I already know will appear there and then I get to the ones that are actually hiding behind them. And those are very interesting because then I can see, okay, uh, there's a lot of results on applications and platforms. So when I click on those terms, I can see the search result which relates to this particular subject. And also just select those terms and use the topics here. So then I can quickly get to the parts of the existing discourse which is relevant and interesting for me. Try it out on infranodos.com with your own data or using the data import apps that we have. And you can also use a lot more text analysis tools that are built into Infranodos to get some really interesting insights about the texts that you're working with. Thank you.